when we heard about this proposed amendment, I realized that I, as a Muslim, was being told that I don't have the same rights as a Christian, or a Jew, or as any other person of any other faith. Well, although the ACLU of Oklahoma is not a co-sponsor of this litigation, we obviously work in conjunction with CARE on a lot of different issues affecting the civil liberties of Oklahomans. And certainly, uh, we believe that this new constitutional amendment uh, does present a clear and present danger, not only uh, uh, to the welfare of, of one of our state's minority populations, uh, because we believe that it unnecessarily demonizes the Muslim community, but also we believe it's going to have lasting detrimental impacts uh, with respect to Oklahoma's uh, image in the eyes of, of uh, international corporations who may want to invest in Oklahoma. As a Muslim American citizen in the state of Oklahoma, I felt compelled to file a lawsuit because my religion, my religious practices were being specifically targeted in this state amendment. Um, no matter what the intention or the purpose is of the authors, the effect is going to speak for itself. Uh, they're going to enshrine the name uh, uh, Muslim, they're going to enshrine the words Islam, Quran, and Muhammad in the, in the Oklahoma State Constitution and in a negative light and in a way that forbids their consideration from Oklahoma courts. Now, initially someone would say, well, that's not a threat anyways, you know, what, what is the big deal? But the fact is, there are many documents that people of faith uh, tend to agree on and uh, 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 create, and they are religious agreements. And as long as they do not conflict with the law of the land, we should have the right to ask a judge to consider the religious arguments behind the agreements that we created.